Aaron Burnett out front. Weeknights at 7, only on CNN. I want to show you this video that we have just literally received. Um, this, is, this is a surveillance video of the instant when that bridge in Washington collapsed. I want to draw your attention to the top left of the screen. And we're just going to show you, there you see it collapsing in. And we'll play it again so you can see it. I, I think it, it just brings home, at least when we were looking at it, the speed with which this happened. You see all of that smoke and debris, and then it just go, it goes under. And again, to emphasize, this is, a, there was an interstate, I mean, look at that. When you're going over a bridge next time and you think about that, that makes you think again. There are about 77,000 cars uh, according to estimates that I've seen that go over this bridge every single day. So certainly something of a miracle that there were only a couple of cars and three people, all of them survived uh, what happened last night. And a miracle that perhaps gives this uh, country a little bit of uh, pause to think about how we can prevent this from happening again when a quarter of the bridges in this country are at risk of that. This isn't the first time that we've seen something horrific like this happen. You may remember in 2007, a portion of the I-35 bridge collapsed in Minneapolis. 13 people died. That accident sparked a national re-examination of the country's roads and bridges, but as you can tell, not much happened. In 1983, three people died when a section of I-95 on the East Coast broke away, falling 70 feet. Two cars and an 18-wheel trailer went with it. And three years earlier, a freighter trucked the Sunshine Skyway Bridge near St. Petersburg, Florida. 35 people died in that accident. The Silver Bridge connecting West Virginia and Ohio collapsed even further. When you're looking back at the history here, 1967, it was carrying more weight than it initially been designed for. 46 people died. The weight on bridges, is that something that's actually measured at any given moment? And we know whether it's being exceeded or not? 